Welcome, I am Saranya Ghosh and I'm going to give you a tour of my minimalistic door room in MIT Manipal. I'm currently standing outside my room. I live in block 13, room 226 and I'm going to take you inside. So let's get started. You'll see that this is a single room. I have an air conditioner and an attached washroom. This is like pretty much the best scenario hostel wise that you can get on this campus. So this is not a very accurate representation of all the hostels of all kinds of rooms that are available on campus. There are definitely other kinds of dorms and rooms like single rooms and double rooms and triple sharing. You'll have AC, non-AC, you'll have attached washrooms and you'll have not attached washrooms which are the common washrooms. It just goes on. There aren't enough choices for everyone. All the rooms come equipped with a desk, a chair, a cupboard and some overhead shelves. In 13, you also get this additional side day. This is the main door of the room. There are a lot of hooks over here and I mostly use it to hang my bag or some other things. Moving on to the cupboard next. Now, my room is a little different. It was actually a single converted double room. So the single room had some additional storage boxes added to it and some other shelves and an extra cupboard. And then it was a single converted double room. And then it again got converted back to a single room. That's why I just have one bed and one desk and one of each. But I have three storage cupboards. Normally in a single room, you'll just find two of these cupboards. But since this different configuration existed over here, I have three of them. First, let's talk about the overhead storage. You'll see some suitcases and a box over there. So suitcases, obviously, I live in a hostel. I'm not a localite. My house is really far from here. So that's why the suitcases you can store over there and the boxes. So what happens is when you move out for vacations and stuff, you have to empty your rooms completely. Even if in the academic year, you'll be retaining the same room, you still have to move out and put all your stuff in these boxes and then put them in the luggage rooms because the caretakers and all the other people in the administration, they'll open up your room and they'll do some maintenance and stuff. During the academic year, you can put your things in these cupboards, but sometimes the storage isn't enough, so there's a luggage room. But when the academic year ends, you are not allowed to retain your room you will be allotted a different room and for that there are these boxes you actually have to purchase these cardboard boxes from SP which is which stands for student plaza I fortunately did not have to buy them at all I got these from a friend who in turn got it from a senior when I had moved from block 21 I was staying over there in my first year to block 13 in my second year I did not have to use these boxes at all because I for some reason like fortunately or unfortunately I had to move very quickly so I actually did not have to keep any of my luggage in the storage. I just put everything directly in my room. These were just used for transportation and as soon as I was done shifting I felt really lazy and I put them on top of here which was a W for lazy people because now I can reuse them. I don't have to buy any more boxes. Coming to the first cupboard over here I just keep everything related to like snacks and stuff. In my third semester, I used to have this really flourishing business where I would go to Dmart and buy a lot of things on sale, like stuff like snacks and ramen and nankins and etc. And then I would bring it to the hostel and sell it at night for profit. You're not allowed to leave the hostel after the perm time, which was 10 o'clock for us in the third semester. And people in college always stay up till like 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock and they're about to get hungry. People ask on the blog's WhatsApp group, does anyone have anything to eat? And that's where I come in. I sell them Maggie and like snacks and other things and I make a out of it. It's honestly a win-win situation. They get something to eat because they're hungry and I make a sizable profit. Now you can see like the stock is a little lean because in this semester I haven't been to Dmart at all. Last semester I've been there twice and yeah I would just recommend like it's a pretty good business if your hostel has like a perfect timing after which people can't leave. This is an excellent business that you could run. I have made about a thousand rupees in profit which isn't a lot but it's like a small amount which gives me happiness. Over here I have this kettle. It's a hostel essential. You should have a kettle. It's like you can you can just make everything and you can cook eggs in this, you can make maggi, you can make coffee in this, you can make oats. The list just goes on. If you're going out to buy a kettle just for your hostel needs, here is a little tip. Get one which has a really wide upper part. This is kind of like slanting. This is really narrow on the top. When you're cooking, it's really hard to get all the food out of it. And when you're cleaning, obviously it gets because it's very difficult to just jam your whole hand. Get one which 
which is evenly sized up to the top. In the next shelf, I mostly have some miscellaneous things. I have this thermally insulated copper bottle. I have some other things. I have this bag of medicines that my dad is very meticulously created. I would highly recommend that you have some medicines for generic and for your essential uses. Uh, just pack it in a bag and keep it with you. My dad has also written some instructions over here. I don't know if you can read this or not. So it's pretty handy because in the college, no one's really here to take care of you. Your parents are far away and you have to kind of fend for yourself. So it's really essential that you have kind of like a medical box with you all the time. In the last compartment, I just have the shoe box. Their heels are like very fancy, it's like wedding party fancy. So obviously I can't wear them every day. I just wore them once over here during the rebels, during the ethnic. So it just languishes in my cupboard over here. Next are these two regular cupboards. On the top shelf, I just have miscellaneous items that I hardly use. There are some files and folders and some old notebooks and this rain cover, which I'm not needing right now because it's not raining in Manipal at this time. Because, but I would highly recommend you buy something like that because it rains over here for like six months at a time. Then here are some bags. Then here is some clothing rope. I had gotten it when I was in block 7 but I ended up not using it at all because I moved out of there in like 2 weeks. Then I have some disinfectant spray, highly recommended. I got it when I was first moving into Manipal because at that time Covid was still a pretty big thing and I had to sanitize all my rooms and stuff. But I would highly recommend that you do sanitize in any case even if Covid is like kind of non-existent right now. Excuse all this mess please. In this shelf, I mostly have stuff from the house. I mostly have things that I haven't really used straight from house. These are all the washed clothes. Like, I mean, these clothes are also washed, but these are washed from home. I promise I do do laundry. Mom, if you're watching this, I do live a pretty hygienic life. Then over here I have some jewelry, some more fancy clothes, some new clothes that I haven't worn yet. Then on the bottom shelf, just clothes that I use regularly. Same thing for the bottom most shelf. I've put some stuff over here that were earlier on the shelf over there. When we had to move out during the vacations, I thought, okay, well, I'll just stuff it in here and put it back in the shelves when I come back. Turns out I did not use them at all, so they're just over here since the start of the semester. And some more clothes, obviously. You can never have enough clothes. Just get as many clothes as possible, then you won't have to do laundry as many times. Over here again, I have just some miscellaneous items. Here is my blazer. We don't really need a blazer over here. I just thought of getting one. I personally haven't had to use it even once. I had just worn it once to an English class presentation, which was totally overkill. I did not need to do that. You might need it if you're in a lot of clubs and plan on continuing in them because there will be some photo shoots, but mostly they just require you to wear dress shirts and not something full-fledged like a blazer. Here I have a side pillow. The reason that I've stuffed it over here in the cupboard is that the cover had gotten dirty so I stuffed it in the laundry bin thinking that oh I'll wash it and use it as soon as possible. But it's been over here for two months. I haven't washed it at all. And it's surprisingly really comfortable because I was a person who couldn't sleep without a side pillow. But now I can enjoy the full real estate of my bed which is not saying much because it's a single bed. Then I have some other essentials, some snacks that my mom sent me. This is dish soap, some more powder, some almonds, some walnuts, some other hostel essentials. Over here I just have my laundry basket. I used to earlier put it up in the door, the main door, the hooks over there. But since I started using the entire room as my background for YouTube videos, I did not want to put it in the background. I don't want the entire world seeing what my laundry is. So now it's over here. I also have a couple of more bags. Like these are the bags that you get at Dmart, so I just kept it over here. Next is the bed over here. It's the best place in the entire world. Actually second best because I would rate my bed at home the first. This is my safe place. After a long day from classes and labs or just doing nothing at all, I can blissfully slug out over here. I watch videos and scroll reels the entire time for hours on my bed, which is a very big problem. I should fix that day. This bed is also one of the reasons why I have to go to the library sometimes to study. This bed just looks so inviting all the time. I might be working on my desk, but the empty bed looks so tempting that I just cannot rest. You'll only have single beds in your hostel, so be prepared to fall over the edge. And in case you're wondering, it's not my birthday right now. It was my friend's birthday back in September. 
September with surprise. So it's a thing that we do. We decorate someone's room, mostly the person's room, or if we're trying to give them a surprise, we just decorate somebody else's room and then bring them at 12 o'clock. This has been over here since September. I haven't taken it out and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon because I will be moving out in a couple of weeks. My NSEM exams are getting over on June 3rd. So I will have to move out of here anyways and I will miss this room. Next year, I'll decorate my room to the fullest. I have already added so many things to my wish list already. My Amazon card is just bursting with things. I'll make it super aesthetic. Stay tuned for that room. And yes, this is a Doraemon bed sheet in case you were wondering. My mom thought it would be pretty cute. I don't think she took into account how scared I might be if I just see a face staring at me in my sleep dark at night. Moving on, this is a Block 13 exclusive thing. You get this additional side table. I mostly keep my fruit rack over here. I had seen a really aesthetic rack in my friend's room and I asked my mom if I could buy the same thing. She said we already have a rack at our house. The rack at our house? There's also this charging port over here and the switch to the AC. It's really handy. I charge things over here. I remember when I was in block 21, I did not have a side table, so I could never really charge my phone and keep scrolling, which in hindsight was a good thing because now I sleep at like 4 o'clock every day. Next is the small space under the side table. This is mostly a bag full of plastic bags, typical brown household. And in this bag, there are also a lot of condiments that I never really use and some more plastic bags. Next is arguably the best feature of this room, the AC. Right there. There is a stand where you can keep your remote, but I don't really use it. I prefer it having next to me in the bed because it's just annoying to get out of the bed every time you have to switch on the AC. Manipal without AC is just unbearable. At least for me, I do have a lot of friends who don't really require the AC. My room is undoubtedly the coldest room in the entire campus. I have my AC at 17 all the time and the fan at 5. There is also this drawer which is pretty handy but I don't choose to keep anything over here. Most of my friends keep medicines and stuff and things that they might need really close. I personally did not choose to do that but that's actually a really good idea. Mostly when you're sick, you don't have the energy to get out of the bed and it's very convenient having the medicines right near you. So do consider that. Next is the desk and the chair. This is what you must have seen mostly in my videos. The desk in a normal single room is a little bigger than this, a little longer and it has an extra compartment on this side. But since this is a single converted double and then converted back to a single room, I don't have the longer desk. It's still the smaller desk from the double. There's also supposed to be a drawer over here which is missing. There's also this additional compartment but I've never really had the need to put anything over here. It smells like, oh my god, it smells like death. I don't need it either because I already have way too much of storage already. This is where I record videos, this is where I edit them and study sometimes. This chair is also really ordinary. I'm thinking of getting an ergonomic chair because of my terrible back pain. I might be turning 20 in a couple of days, but my back is 72 and it's given up. Then there are all the shelves up there. This shelf over here closes to the window. This has like very few items. There's some gods and goddesses courtesy my mom. And there's this Agarbatti stand and some miniature classical instruments. I really love classical music and my mom got these for me. I have a similar set back home and she'd recently gone on a vacation in Calcutta and she thought I would really like this. So she got it for me from the Swadeshi Mula. Up here, these are relics from Devils. I was on the organizing committee in Iridescent and these are some of the props that I had used in my events. This is my ID card from there and these are some things that my seniors have written on it, my peers have written on it. Then these are some more things. These are some of the potions that I have used. These were used in the, or what do you call it, like the auction. There was an auction held for all the mythical characters. This is related to Harry Potter. Super interesting. This is what I used to tie the curtain up sometimes when I'm recording. I only showed a natural light. I don't prefer shooting it in like artificial light. Neither do I have the money to buy a studio light. This cute little teddy, I got it from an arcade. I actually did not win this. My friend won it, but she also got another one. So like, there's a long story associated with it. Then next in this shelf, I have some more food items. All the healthy snacks that my mom has given me. She's also given me three packets of sattu, which apparently helps with energy because I feel fatigued all the time. So my mom thought they would be kind of useful. I have some more 
Madison almonds. I got three of these containers from Dmart. They're pretty useful. Then there's some milk, there's some more medicines. In the shelf over here, this is my microphone. This is what I use to record my videos. Those are some old lab manuals and composition books. Some of the files that I no longer need. Up next, this shelf. Just some other miscellaneous items. These ear pods, the slot for my door, the Starbucks mug over there and some other notebooks. The next rack which is closest to the door, this is full of all skincare items. I hardly use any of these even though I have a lot of them. I should really start using these, my body will thank me. My skin is basically crying out, I should start using these. I got these plates and bowls from Dmart, they were really cheap. I got them for like 50 bucks, which were like 3 plates, 3 bowls and stuff. Then there are some tiffin boxes over there, very useful, I'm always running late. So I mostly pack the breakfast in my tiffin box and then run towards class. Next we have this clothing stand. You might have even seen this in the background of a lot of my videos. I bought this when I moved to block 22 because over there there was no provision to handle clothing lines so I had to buy this. It's very useful actually. You can dry clothes when you need. It kind of opens up like this. If you're not using it for hanging clothes, you can also keep stuff over here. Very useful. I also have this dustbin over here which isn't really mine. An ex roommate gave it to me when she was moving out permanently. I didn't have to buy a dustbin. I don't even need one actually. I just straight away keep things in the outside dustbin. Next, the washroom. This is a bathroom. Nothing much to see. There's this cabinet which you can open. I don't keep anything over here. Then there's this basin. There's the washroom. And this is the shower area. That is a rack where you can keep all your bodily items. There's also this rack where you can put your clothes. This is the exhaust. And that's basically it. There you have it. A tour of my kind of minimalistic hostel dorm room. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Also, would you like to see a full tour of all the hostels available in MIT? Drop a comment for that as well. I reply to each and every comment. Because if you're taking the time out to comment something for me, I am most definitely going to make sure that I make out the time to read it out. As always, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Why is it leaking?